Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about how we convert between different types of units. Now, unit conversions are not something that we'll have to deal with very often in this class. Most of the time we'll be using SI units, but occasionally we'll have to convert. Now, the way you convert between different types of units is you use something called a conversion factor. A conversion factor is basically just a ratio, and what we do is we put the same quantity of something in the numerator and the denominator. Because of this, the conversion factor is mathematically equivalent to multiplying by 1. Now when we do this, we write the quantities in the numerator and denominator using different units. Typically, we'll choose the units in the denominator to be the same units that we initially started with. This way they'll cancel with the initial units, and we'll place the new units in the numerator. So let's get started with a few examples. So the example asks us to convert the following units into SI. We have 3 miles, 1 yard, 70 miles per hour, and 1 mile squared. And this table here summarizes these. Start, starting with the first one, 3 miles, we can see at this entry on the table, 1 mile is equal to 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. So let me write that down. 1 mile equals 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. Now actually, before I get started with this example, I want to first show you that the conversion factor is in fact equal to 1. So these two things are equal. 1 mile is equal to 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these sides and just divide them by 1 mile. Now hopefully it's obvious that this thing on the left side here oops, is going to be 1. I have 1 mile divided by 1 mile, so obviously this is 1. And on the right side we have 1.61 times 10 to the third meters divided by 1 mile. So hopefully now you can see that this ratio over here is actually exactly the same thing as 1. So when I multiply 3 miles by this conversion factor, I'm not going to change the amount that I have. I still have 3 miles, it's just now I'll be representing it in terms of meters. Also notice that I chose to divide by miles to get this conversion factor. Again, this is because I want the miles to cancel when I multiply 3 miles by this conversion factor. So I want the miles to be in the denominator. So let's see how this works. I take 3 miles and I'm going to multiply this by 1.61 times 10 to the third meters divided by 1 mile. And we can see that the units of miles will cancel, and what I'll be left with is 4.83 times 10 to the third meters. Moving on to the next example, we're asked to convert 1 yard into SI units. So a yard is a unit of length, so we need to use meters, or we need to convert into meters. So for those of you who aren't familiar, one yard is equal to three feet. And we can see that one foot is equal to 3.05 times 10 to the minus one meters. So let me write those down. We have one yard is three feet, and one foot is equal to 3.05 times 10 to the minus 1 meters. So once again, I need to multiply 1 yard by a conversion factor. This time I'll have to use two conversion factors. I'll have to first convert 1 yard into, me I'm sorry, into feet, and then I'll have to convert that into meters using the feet to meter conversion factor. Just like before, I'm going to put in the denominator the, uh, a quantity that has the same uh, units that I initially start with. That way they'll cancel. So here I'll put 1 yard, and in the numerator I'll put 3 feet. This way when I multiply them, units of yards will cancel, and I'll have units of feet. Now I need to convert this into meters, so I'll put 1 foot 
in the denominator, so it'll cancel with what's in the numerator, and we have 3.05 times 10 to the minus 1 meters in the numerator. So if I plug all this into a calculator, what I see is that this is equal to 0 0.915 meters. So just looking at this example, we can see that one yard is just a little bit less than one meter, and they're pretty close to each other. So for a lot of you, you know, we're living in the United States, we're not very familiar with the metric system, this is a good thing to keep in mind, that one meter is approximately equal to one yard, or three feet. Now in the next example, we're asked to convert 70 miles per hour into meters per second. So, oops, I forgot on the, on the last slide, I mean, we're going to be using this conversion factor between miles and meters. So one mile is 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. And we'll also have to convert hours into seconds. And that's not on here, but we can handle that. So first, let's find the conversion factor between an hour and a second. So hopefully everybody knows that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And there are also 60 seconds in one minute. So using these two conversion factors we can figure out how many seconds there are in an hour. So one hour is equal to one hour times 60 minutes divided by one hour times 60 seconds divided by one minute. Now again notice every time I chose my conversion factor so that it would cancel my initial units. So that one hour cancels and the minutes cancel. And now we have 60 times 60, and this is in units of seconds. So that's 300, I'm sorry, uh, 3,600 seconds. And that's a pretty good number to keep in mind. There are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Oh. I've run out of room. I have to erase all this. Uh, so let me go ahead and write that down at the top. We have 3,600 seconds in an hour. And we also have that there are 1.61 times 10 to the third meters in one mile. So let's go ahead and use these two to convert 70 miles per hour. So we have 70 miles divided by hour. And so what I'm going to need to do is multiply this by a conversion factor. So to convert the miles into meters, we do just like we've done before. This is 1.61 times 10 to the third meters divided by one mile. And notice that the units of miles will cancel. Now, for the second conversion factor to convert hours into seconds, we have to look, be a little bit more careful. This time, the unit that we started out with is in the denominator of a fraction. So now we have to put one hour in the numerator of this conversion factor so that it will cancel with the initial hour. I was in my initial 70 miles per hour. So we have one hour and we'll divide that by three, I'm sorry, 3,600 seconds. Okay? So now if we take all of this and we plug this into a calculator, we get that this is 31.3 meters per second. Notice that this is about half of what we started with, right? Half of 70 would be 35. So in general, one meter per second is about equal to, uh, one meter per second is approximately equal to two miles per hour, roughly. Now moving on to the very last one, I ask you to convert one square mile into uh, one meter, I'm sorry, into meters squared, into the metric unit or area. Now, before I do this example, uh, I want to consider maybe a bit of an easier example and ask how many square inches are there in uh, one square foot? So, how many inches squared are there? and one foot squared. And I think the best way to see this is to try to visualize this. So if we have one foot 
by one foot. So we have this area that's one foot by one foot. Okay. Then the side here, the side of the square, this side of the square, they're both 12 inches in length, right? So I can divide this up into 12 inches. Let's see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, running out of room, 12. And the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, I've done this terribly. But the point is, is that when I do this, right, I can basically imagine dividing this up into little squares here. Okay? And each one of these squares will be one square inch, right? It's going to be a square that has an inch by an inch dimensions. Okay? And so if I ask how many square inches there are in this, I'm basically asking how many of these little squares are there inside here. So we can see if we follow just like one side here, there are 12 inches along this side and there are 12 inches along this side. So the total number of these squares inside here is going to be 12 times 12. So there are 144 square inches in one square foot. Now one way we could get to this is by using a conversion factor. So we could say one square foot times, and then we would do 12 inches divided by one foot. And we would have to square this conversion factor. We have to square this because we initially started out with two units of feet. We started out with feet squared. So we need to have two units of feet in the denominator to cancel with our initial units. So when we do this, we get 144 square inches. So let's go back to the original example. We have one square mile, and I'm asking us to convert this into square meters. So we know that there are 1.61 times 10 to the third meters in one mile. So we take one mile squared, and we multiply this by the conversion factor. So here I have miles in the numerator. I need to put miles in the denominator of my conversion factor so that it will cancel with my initial miles. And I'm going to square this conversion factor so that I get two units of miles in the denominator so that it cancels with the two units of miles that I originally had. So finally, if I plug this into a calculator, I see that this is equal to 2.59 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. And so I think I'd like to end the video there. And in the next video, I want to start talking about how we can use units to help us check to see whether or not an equation is correct.